I'm Jeff Anderson, uh, the founder of Jeff Anderson and Associates. For years, we've been working with survivors of sexual abuse by clergy and among the most prominent of all the clergy offenders and predators is former Cardinal Ted McCarrick. The news of him being charged with rape of children today, criminally for the first time, brings great relief, great even some comfort to so many survivors that this powerful cardinal, this powerful archbishop, this powerful bishop, this powerful priest um, preyed upon uh, for so many for so long. We have the honor and privilege to work with at least four courageous survivors who have come forward abused in New York and uh, New Jersey uh, by this predator. And it's their courage and the courage of other survivors that have reported to law enforcement, brought civil suit under the Child Victims Act in New Jersey and New York, and it's the courage of those survivors that now brings some measure to bear uh, personally on the accountability of McCarrick. And in that, the survivors can take some small measure of comfort. It's far from enough uh, and far from what should have been done. Because what we have learned in our investigation and as we've unearthed the trail of his predation, it's 50 years. He began in the late 1960s to abuse and violate his trust as a priest in New York at the right hand of the then Archbishop of New York. And then was moved and promoted even after his abuse of so many kids there to become a bishop in Metuchen and then moved and promoted to become an Archbishop in Newark and then moved and promoted to become an Archbishop uh, cardinal in Washington, D.C., all the while working at the right hand and in tandem with the Vatican and all the popes um, uh, um, past and present. He is and has been the most powerful uh, predator to have roamed the landscape, exercising his power, his influence, his prestige in all quarters of uh, this country and even the globe. And so there is no comfort in knowing what he has done to so many families who have been shattered and so lives um, lost because of the predation. We have counted dozens of survivors and interviewed uh, at least that many. And so it does give comfort to us to know that he has to pay something here and should spend the rest of his life a natural life in prison, but he's the one that imprisoned uh, so many to a life of pain and sorrow and sadness. Um, and that is something every survivor, by him and others like him, that continue to endure. And so we continue to honor the courage of the survivors and remind them all in New York and New Jersey the time is short and it runs out in terms of your ability to take action and share your truth and come forward privately uh, and up until uh, August 13th. The time is short to do that in New York and, uh, and we just applaud all the survivors that have come forward by uh, McCarrick and uh, all the others that are coming forward to the Child Victims Act in New York and across this country. It is their courage that can ultimately cause some measure of accountability and protect kids in the future.